call the meeting to order. Thank you. I'll call the meeting in order and uh, ask the clerk for roll call, please. Okay, Mr. Hartwig. Uh, here. Dr. Goodwin. Here. Mr. Mulligan. Here. Mr. Robertson. Here. Mr. Soldani. Through the chair, we have a quorum. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll move on then to uh, the second part of the agenda here, uh, item three, uh, approval of the consent calendar items. I will ask now if there are any corrections or additions to the minutes uh, previously submitted uh, for uh, the January meeting of the hearing board. Uh, do we have any corrections or additions, staff, board? Uh, seeing none, I'll, uh, I'll actually ask, is there a public comment regarding uh, the minutes? Is there any public comment in Bakersfield? No public comment in Bakersfield. Thank you. Any public comment in Modesto? There is no public comment in Modesto. Thank you. There's no public comment in Fresno or online. Thank you so much. Uh, so hearing hearing none then, I will entertain a motion to approve consent items uh, 9 through 11. Move to uh, um, approve items 9 through 11. Second. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, I, I heard Dr. Goodwin, so we'll go with her then as our second then. Um, all right, if you'll uh, call the roll then for the vote. Thank you. Mr. Hartwick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Mr. Mulligan? Yes. Mr. Robertson? Yes. Okay, through the chair, motion passes. Thank you. And I'll just remind our uh, board members too, to make sure you turn your mics uh, if you're gonna make uh, comments, I guess, please, if you will, with the VTC. Uh, so minutes are approved with correction or with uh, no corrections uh, here. Uh, that moves us then to uh, the public hearing. Uh, so I'll ask all witnesses who intend to testify today to please stand and raise your right hand so that the board may swear you in. So, and I think that applies to the folks on the VTC as well. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give in the matters pending before the hearing board today shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. I do. Thank you, and thank you for the folks on BTC as well. All right, uh, that uh, that takes us then to uh, docket number C-23-05S, uh, RDAW uh, Glass Company, a short variance. I'll ask uh, the applicants, are, they, are any of them online or are they here? Today? Okay, perfect. So if you guys would come forward and uh, identify yourselves, please. I don't know why with my pen. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Okay, my name is Jennifer Corpus, C as in cat, O R, P as in Peter, U Z as in zebra. Right. And Manuel Salinas, uh, S A L I N A S. <laughs> Perfect. I appreciate it then. Uh, and then I'll turn over to staff. I don't know if it's who's taking this one on, but uh, I will be. Thank you. Um, I'm actually covering for Chris today. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, thank you. Good morning. My name is Estela Soto, and I'm an air, a senior air quality specialist here with the district. And before you is um, our dog, um, Glass Inc. Uh, our dog operates a contain, container glass manufacturing operation, which consists of two 75 MMBTUs per hour natural gas fired glass melting furnaces. Furnace number one and furnace number two. To control air pollution, the two furnaces vent into a common stack that has a semi dry scrubber and an electrostatic precipitator or EP. On December 6, 2022, RDOC shut down furnace number one for scheduled repairs. RDOC has plans to bring furnace uh, number two into idle mode before shutting down the scrubber and EP to perform transformer switch gear maintenance. Maintenance is required to address the following. A uh, bushing connection of RDOC's 4 kV transformer, protective relay settings update, running a 12 kV line from the secondary side of the transformer to the main gear, replacing stress cones on the secondary side of the transformer, and cleaning the transformer area. And during the maintenance, furnace number two's exhaust stream will bypass the scrubber and EP. District, 4350, District Rule 4354 allows for excess emissions during annual maintenance of the scrubber and EP for up to 144 hours, of which ARDA currently has the 144 hours remaining. District Rule 4101 limits visible emissions to no more than Ringelman 1 or 20% opacity for more than three minutes in any one hour. RDOC expects um, excess visible emissions to be brief and estimates that they may, may only occur within the first few hours of bypass. The excess visible emissions derive from debris accumulation and a cooling water mist injector 
in the bypass flu and are not a product of glass production. The glass, um, the flue gases must be cooled in the bypass flue, otherwise equipment can be damaged by excess heat. Some of the visible emissions are water vapor from the cooling water mist injector. Even though the exhaust stream bypasses the scrubber and EP, it uh, still it will still uh, need to exit the, exit the main stack and SEMS and comms and will still be in use uh, measuring and re recording emission levels. A glass melting furnace is designed to operate for multiple years, known as a campaign, and it operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If if it is allowed to cool down, significant damage can be done to the refractory brick. During idle mode, minimal amounts of material will be going through the furnace throughout the variance period. Therefore, our dog has requested a short variance from the applicable requirements of district rules in addition to the applicable conditions of the subject permits. The requested short variance would be for a consecutive 16-hour period to occur sometime between February 15, 2023 and March 15, 2023 inclusive. If granted, the variance would allow the continued operation of furnace number two and continued glass production in idle mode with excess visible emissions while RDOC shuts down the, the scrubber and DP to perform the required maintenance. The district believes the required finding, findings that set forth in the California Health and Safety Code can be made and recommends that RDOC be, be granted a short variance with the conditions on pages four, five, and six of the staff report. And that concludes the district's presentation. Thanks, Susella. Thank you. Do you guys have any things to, to anything to add to the presentation or any comments or anything at all? No. No? Okay. Then I'll ask uh, the board if there's any questions of staff or the petitioner here. Jerry? I have one. Just you've read the recommendations and you're comfortable with what are set before you? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Andy. So you did some maintenance on this system back in December and we gave you a variance for that. Were these problems with the electrical system discovered during that maintenance? Yes. During that maintenance, there was a an electrical service by the power company. When we re-energized the equipment after that service, it, it caused problems with our main electrical. And for safety, we have to go back in and make repairs. Okay. And so are you going to do, uh, that was annual maintenance on that system back in December. Are you going to do that maintenance during this uh, variance period, or are you just going to do the electrical repairs? No, it's exclusively for the electrical work. Okay. So you'll have to do that annual maintenance later on in the year. Correct. Are you going to have enough hours? If we give you this 16-hour uh, variance for the 16 hours, are you going to have enough left to do that maintenance later on? We will have to accommodate that, yes. Okay. Any anything else uh, from the board? I'd right, seeing none. Then I'll ask: uh, Is there any public comment uh, here in the room or on? Uh, I see none in the room, but I guess we'll go to. No public comment online. Um, Modesto, is there any public comment there? No public comment in Modesto. Thank you, Bakersfield. Is there any public comment in your office? No public comment in Bakersfield. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, with that, then I will uh, I will accept the motion. If somebody's willing to make one here, yeah, I make a motion that we um, approve the short variance. Sorry. I make a motion that we approve the short variance for IDAS Glass Incorporated C twenty three oh five F. Appears to meet the six findings of the Health and Safety Code. Period shall be effective for a consecutive 16 hour period and occurs sometime between February 15th, 2023, and March 15th, 2023, inclusive, or until maintenance has concluded, whichever occurs first. It shall be subject to the findings and recommendations of the Health and Safety Code on pages four, five, and six of the staff report. Thank you. Dr. I'll second. Oh, thank you, Jerry. All right. Uh, clerk, if you'll please call the roll here. Mr. Hartwig? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Mr. Mulligan? Yes. Mr. Robertson? Yes. Through the chair motion passes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. 
Uh, that moves us into uh, docket number uh, C-23-06S, uh, a short variance for ERA Energy uh, LLC. So if the petitioner will come forward here, and I don't know if it's if they're online as well. Yeah, I believe we have one uh, a representative here and in the south as okay. well. Okay, so perfect. Well, okay. Yeah, come on, go ahead and introduce yourself if you could. Sure. My name is. I had that little button right there. Perfect. Thank you. My name is Dustin Ramsey. I'm the environmental specialist for Klinga Operations and Era Energy in Klinga. Perfect. And if the petitioner online would also introduce himself. Aaron. Uh, yeah. Aaron, Aaron Albrocht in the for Era Energy in the Bakersfield office. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Uh, then I'll turn it over to yep. Shannon, I'm assuming. Great. Right. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Shannon Moore. I'm an air quality specialist here at the district. And before you is Air Energy LLC. They operate equipment associated with the production and storage of crude oil and gas within the Kalinga oil field. Fluids from the wells are piped to dehydration facilities for processing. The vapors are collected by a tank vapor recovery system, treated for sulfur, then incinerated in the steam generators. As required by district rules and permit conditions, the tank vapor recovery system must be operated and maintained in a leak-free condition at all times. Air needs to replace valves on the 8-inch main gas pipeline feeding the heater treaters and steam generators. In order to complete the work, the main gas line must be shut down, isolated from the system, and evacuated. With the main gas line down, the facility will need to shut down the steam generators and the vapor recovery system. Therefore, ERA has requested a short variance from requirements of the applicable district rules, in addition to the applicable conditions of the subject permits. The requested short variance would be for a consecutive 48-hour period to occur sometime between February 20th, 2023 and April 20th, 2023, inclusive. If granted, the variance would allow ERA to continue to store VOC-containing liquids at the Kalinga facility without a functional or operating vapor recovery system while they repair valves on the 8-inch main gas pipeline. In addition, it will allow wells with closed casing gas vents to produce into tanks that do not have a functional or operating vapor recovery system. Air has calculated that excess VOC emissions will be no more than 520 pounds over the 48-hour, the full 48-hour variance period. The district has reviewed the calculations and finds them to be appropriate for the variance. In lieu of obtaining a variance, ERA would need to drain, degas, and clean the tanks, associated vessels, and heater treaters, which would extend the planned work for three weeks and add substantial cost, cost in addition to resulting in, likely resulting in more emissions than the 520 pounds. Furthermore, they would need to shut down oil production of 530 barrels per day, resulting in a loss of approximately $376,000 per day. The district believes the required findings as set forth in the California Health and Safety Code can be made and recommends that Air Energy LLC be granted a short variance with the conditions on pages four, five, and six. And that concludes the district's presentation. Thank you. I'll ask the petitioner if uh, you have a presentation to make or just uh, or anything to add to the presentation. Uh, the only thing I would uh, say is with the oil well operations, um, so we're actually going to shut down the oil wells. There might be some residual at the beginning of the shutdown, but all production is actually going to be completely shut down at this point. Okay. So essentially that, that part where it says in addition to allow wells, that's not necessarily, that won't be relevant in this particular case. I don't think it's going to change the variance in any other way. They're still requesting up to 520 pounds for the full 48 hour variance period. Um, I, are there any other questions about that? We weren't sure, I, I guess, from the petition, whether the wells would be shut down or not. And I think I'd ask Aaron to kind of clarify that. And I wasn't sure, but um, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so it's a better case, I guess, than a... Essentially, yeah. It would be a better case scenario not having the wells operating during that time. Okay. That's good then. Um, any questions from uh, board for either staff or the petitioner? Sure. Go ahead, Andy. What happened to the valves? There are some maintenance valves, and some of the valves are not holding, so they want to work on the line to do some pegging and stuff. Are they going to be replaced or repaired? They're going to be completely replaced. Okay. So the, the whole 8-inch line needs to be evacuated, and they're going to be completely replaced, uh, put new valves in, and do some manual maintenance on the line. Okay. Has this happened before? Um, not. I believe the last time we did a shutdown on this was actually to install pigging receivers um the frequencies of the valves going out are, are very very rare okay 
It, um, I think you're being, being very prudent in your repairs, but out of curiosity, how many wells are feeding this facility? We have a active on a given day, roughly a, about 730 wells. That's all the, the pumping wells? Is that what we see from the roadside? The wells that are pumping, yes. So we have probably a, a, about 980 total wells. Um, the majority of those, for, for one reason or another, are idle and have been idle for months to sometimes years. Um, but active on it, like I said, any given day, it's about 700, 730, somewhere around there that we will be shutting all those wells down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. So what's the estimated loss that you're going to anticipate by draining all of this? If we had to clean the vessels? The, for, for the work that you're going to do. How, what's the estimated loss that you're going to have by draining all the... Well, they're not, they're, excuse me, I'm, they're not going to actually have to drain and degas the tanks if they get this variance. If they don't get the variance, then it's going to add... I don't know how many, there's a whole number list of tanks and vessels that are in the petition. Each one of those would have to be drained, degassed, and cleaned. It's going to be at least three weeks of additional work to do that. Um, I don't know what it costs to drain a tank, 10 grand or whatever um, numbers. I'm, I, I believe the last, yeah, the last look I had when we were cleaning a tank was probably around 15 grand a tank. Wow. Okay. So it'd be a pretty significant impact financially right. as well as the additional additional time emissions, yeah. probably additional emissions or more emissions through that process as well okay is there any additional questions from no more questions board members here uh is there any uh, public comment then on uh, on this matter from anybody here in the office i'll ask about online then no public comments online um bakersfield do you have any public comments we do not have any public comments in Bakersfield. Thank you. Modesto, do you have any public comments? No public comments in Modesto. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so with that, then I'll, uh, I'll accept a motion if anybody's willing to make one here. I move to approve Air Energy LLC's petition for a short variance set forth in docket number C-23-06S with the required uh, six findings of the health and safety code adopted by reference set forth in the staff report. The variant shall be effective uh, for the consecutive 48 hour period to occur sometime between February 20th, 2023 and April 20th, 2023 inclusive, <clears throat> or until the repairs have been completed, whichever occurs first and shall be subject to the conditions on pages four to six of the staff report. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Oh, thank you, Dr. Goodwin. Uh, if you'd please call the roll then. Okay, Mr. Hartwig? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Mr. Mulligan? Yes. Mr. Robertson? Yes. Through the chair motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Uh, that takes us then to uh, our third uh, item under this subsection here, uh, CertainTeed. Uh, it's a C-23-07S, CertainTeed LLC. Uh, do we have any the petitioners here, or is it just Mr. Cuthbertson and Modesto? That is correct. Okay. All right. Then uh, who's got who? I would do this also right. uh, covering for Chris. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning again. My name is Estela Soto, and I'm a senior air quality specialist here with the district. Uh, CertainTeed um, LLC operates a glass melting furnace and other equipment associated with the production of fiber, fiberglass insulation. The exhaust from the furnace is vented through a preconditioning chamber, caustic soda injection, and dry um, electrostatic precipitator, or EP, to control particulate matter emissions. The EP operates by establishing a high voltage electrical charge on the discharge plate inside the unit. PM from the exhaust stream passes through the discharge plates receiving an electrical charge. The charged particulate is then deposited on the grounded collector plates. On January 16, 2023, certainty discovered that the main disconnect from the control, control circuit that controls the ground fault system for D bus and cooling fans for the D bus transformer had failed. Certainty will have to take the D-Bus transformer offline to conduct the repairs. During the repair time, Certainty will, will conduct their yearly cleaning assessment and maintenance of the EP and caustic inje injection system scrubber, which is required yearly. In order to do this, 
Certainties needs to bypass and shut down the entire emissions control system, including the continuous emission monitoring system and the continuous opacity monitoring system, which are on the main exhaust, exhaust stack. District Rule 4354 allows for excess emissions during maintenance of an add-on emission control system for up to 144 hours per year, of which Certainty currently has 130 hours remaining. However, the maintenance exception does not apply to visible emissions. In the past, Certainty has experienced visible emissions as high as 95% opacity during maintenance of the emission control system. Visible emissions are limited to no more than 20% opacity for more than for more than three minutes in any one hour by and no more and no more than 40% opacity for more than three minutes in any one hour by the California Health and Safety Code section 41701. Therefore, certainty is seeking relief from SAM's requirements as well as visible emissions limits for a consecutive 72 hour period in order to perform the maintenance on the EP. The variance protection is necessary because the glass melting furnace, once heated up, operates nonstop for many years in what is known as a campaign. It cannot be shut off without causing significant damage to the furnace. A glass melting furnace takes several days to shut down and several weeks to get back to operational temperature. Therefore, certainty has requested a short variance from the applicable requirements of district rules in addition to the conditions of the subject permits. The requested short variance would be for a consecutive 72-hour period to occur sometime between March 6, 2023 and March 15, 2023, inclusive. If granted, the variance would allow the exhaust stream from the glass melting furnace to bypass the preconditioning chamber, caustic soda injection, EP, and SEMS while the repairs and maintenance is conducted. In addition, the variance would allow visible emissions as high as 95% opacity. The district believes that the required safe, uh, findings as set forth in the California Health and Safety Code can be made and recommends that certainty be granted a short variance with the conditions on pages four and five of the staff report. And that concludes the district's presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Cusperson, do you have anything to, to add or to, to bring to light here? Uh, no, just uh, well. One one point we we've asked for 72 hours. Uh, I've been told by the facilities engineer that the repair on the D bus switchgear, the uh, main disconnect, will not take 72 hours. And we've included the cleaning and the inspection of the EP in order to consolidate uh, mm -hmm. the work and reduce any uh, bypass time throughout the rest of the year. I appreciate that comment. Uh, do we have any uh, questions for staff or for the petitioner here from on the board members? No, not for oh, me. Go ahead, Andy. <laughs> yeah, I see that um, you, you last cleaned it. Uh, we granted you a variance back in September. So it was last cleaned in September of last year? That's correct. Okay. And so you're getting ahead of it. I, I expect that you wouldn't find it as dirty or the cleaning won't be as extensive this go around, right? It, more than likely it won't. Um, as well, the EP was rebuilt last uh, January, February timeframe, and uh, we we've kept it fairly clean. The, the the EP is is staying fairly clean on its own. Okay, and so since you're combining this maintenance with the repair activity, you're going to reset. Are you going to reset your uh, yearly maintenance to occur this this time frame next year? Uh, more than likely, we'll, we will not. Like I said, the, we, we've noticed that there's quite a bit of uh, dust collection in our, our dust silos uh, through the rebuild of the EP itself. So it will probably last again until uh, the following mid, middle of the year. Okay. So you'll need another variance. You'll need another variance later this year. Uh, no, not to do that well, cleaning. I don't expect one this year after this cleaning. Okay. I think you said 2024 is, yeah. is next year, I think. Right. It, yeah, it's annual maintenance. Yeah. Okay. It's annual maintenance. So, so they're getting uh, a jump on it. They're yeah, doing it ahead fully, of time, which uh, which is commendable because yeah. they're doing it in conjunction with right. this repair. Yeah. Which do you consider the, um, which maintenance activity will last longer? The electrical repair, the cleaning of the EP? The electrical repair. The the electrical okay. repair is for uh, roughly fifty percent of the plant. It's it's something that affects about fifty percent of the plant. Okay. 
I just out of curiosity, so you re, you replaced the EP last year. I mean, it sounds like it's working really well. Then basically, it's doing a, it doing is. a pretty good job there. We're overproducing dust in the silos. I think that's good. <laughs> I'm not an engineer. I'm not assuming that's good. Well, if EP can capture it. <laughs> so, Jerry, go ahead. So, what is the cause? He's mentioned extra dust in the silos. What is the cause? Is that just the product you're manufacturing? No, the the uh, the EP is now more efficient. We we replaced oh. all the internals, and uh, mm-hmm. the dust collection system was was refurbished as well. So we're collecting quite a bit more dust than we had with the mm-hmm. the the old EP internals. The old EP internals were roughly forty years old. Oh wow! Yeah. Right, thank you. I appreciate a good discussion, guys. Uh, any other any questions to staff or any other further questions here? We, as I mean, it's pretty standard here. So, uh, any public comments in from uh, from folks here in the room online? No public comment online. Um, Bakersfield, do you have any public comment from your office? No public comment in Bakersfield. Thank you, Modesto. Do you have any public comment in your office? No public comment in Modesto. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, with, uh, with that being fulfilled here, I will uh, accept a motion if anybody's willing to make one here. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, I'll move to approve Certainty LLC petition for a short variance set forth in docket number C-23-07S with the required six findings of the Health and Safety Code adopted by reference set forth in the staff report. The variance shall be effective for a consecutive 72-hour period to occur between March 6, 2023 and March 15, 2023 inclusive or until the repairs and the maintenance have been completed and the emissions control equipment has returned to compliant operation or whichever occurs first and shall be subject to conditions on pages four and five of the staff report. Second. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll go go this time, yeah. All right, thanks, Andy. Um, if you'll call the roll, please. Okay, Mr. Hartwig? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Mr. Mulligan? Yes. Mr. Robertson? Yes. Okay, to the chair motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, all right, uh, that takes us into uh, item number five on the agenda, public comment. Uh, I can go through the whole spiel, but uh, do I, if we don't have any public comment, I won't run through the whole spiel of it. No indication of any public comment. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm six hearing board comments. Any uh, comments from our my esteemed colleagues up here? I have one just for staff. Are you guys back to full 40 hour work weeks or are you still working part time from home? Or? We've been working full time. We we are telecommuting. Some of us are telecommuting, so we're in and out of the office, but we're working full time. We, we always work full yeah. <laughs> time. Yeah, I misspoke there, but I just I was just curious how many people were in and out and, and when things are returning back to normal. Hey, you know, that's been a never question. Never. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a lot of new staff, so it would be challenging if the entire staff was in this building. <laughs> yeah, your parking lot. Desks or... yeah, your parking lot's full. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Jerry That's parked six miles that. away. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry parked the fashion fair. So. <laughs> <laughs> Took a bus here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right. Appreciate it. Any other comments uh, from the hearing board? All right, uh, I, there's no new business on here. Is there anything uh, staff-wise that we need to address at all? Anything? No. All right, uh, then with that, it takes us to eight, which is adjournment. So appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.